The fundamental problem facing our schools is inequality, and we're not doing much to address that issue. The disparities in education are really just a reflection of disparities outside of education, disparities in income, disparities in health and wealth, etc. Because Massachusetts has been a leader nationally in public education, Boston as the urban, major urban center in Massachusetts needs to be an example for the entire country of what's possible in urban education and delivering high quality education to all children. My name is Mary Jo Hetzel, and uh, I'm a member of the Coalition for Equal Quality Education. Pedro Noguera, I'm a professor of sociology at New York University. My name is Karen Cast McBride, and I am a parent. My name is Carlos Rojas Alvarez, and I am an alumni staff for the Boston Student Advisory Council, BSAC, and one of the leading uh, youth advocates in the Boston Truth Coalition. My name is Alexander Roman and I'm a student at Snowden International. Kalita Smalls, and I'm a parent. Uh, my name is Margie Crosby. I've been an occupational therapist working in special education in the Boston Public Schools for the past 20 years. So now that we've elected a new mayor during the transition uh, into this new administration, I think it's really important that the administration, the mayor himself, understand that our school system is really challenged right now. Public schools need support because our public schools uh, are serving the neediest kids, the most disadvantaged children, and uh, they typically can't serve them alone. They need help, um, they need other resources. We shouldn't be having to run bake sales and chase grant after grant to meet the basic education needs of our students. We haven't been paying attention to the resources that are right in front of us, the parents, the students, and the teachers. Parents and young people don't have enough voice and real meaningful engagement in what the system looks like and how it's actually run. So they need to sit down with youth organizations and hear from the youth directly about what their issues are, not just for a quick minute or two, but spend repeated times talking with uh, different youth organizations and particularly Boston Truth. Part of the driving principle behind the Boston Truth Coalition, BSAC, the Young Coalition, is that young people actually have the solutions we need and really are the ones who understand the most what's going on in our schools. Because the youth and the students in the school are the ones who actually know the problems and actually do know the solutions before the adults do. We want newly elected officials to know that we're ready and willing to work with all the stakeholders in the schools, with the parents, with the students, um, with the administrators to really make the Boston Public Schools as the best that they can be. There's no silver bullet, there's not one size fits all solution. They need to come in with an incredibly open mind to figure out different solutions. The quality of education in Boston is something that we all have a stake in. For the future of education in Boston? It is a vision that's more holistic, uh, that recognizes that we've got to um, address things like the art, music, as well as health and safety. They're all part of, of meeting the needs of a child. We know that one of the biggest barriers to education for students is the fact that they're coming to school with health issues that are not being addressed by our healthcare system. So what would it look like to actually bring healthcare to our schools? Starting at birth, we should be addressing the needs of the society in order to close the achievement gap or deal with the dropout rate because it all starts at home. I think the most important thing that could happen is for uh, teachers and schools to look at every single student and encourage that student's particular fundamental life purpose and life interest and passion of the student, then build the curriculum and the education around the student. I'd like to see um, all students really receive an excellent and an excellent education in a safe environment where the curriculum is really designed to the individual students and their specific needs. We really want to see a city that remembers that we hold the oldest public education system in this country. Um, and uh, that bears with it some responsibility to make sure that we continuously uh, show an example and serve as a model to this country.